but before you go, look at this lovely thing. <laughs> so last week's film seemed to create as many questions as I gave answers. And we were looking at these Series 1 cars, where they're different to the Series 2 and things like that. And of course that's created all sorts of comments and interest. So I'm going to go over a couple of points with explanations of them and some stuff to show what it, what it is really. Now with this subject, there's always more to learn and we're just in the process of trying to find out more about it. There's a few different people working on it and so on, but I'll get into that in a minute. But first of all, I mentioned about how the timing chains are adjusted differently on these engines. So let's have a look at that. So timing chains and how they're adjusted. Well, that, that shows the layout of the timing chains. Now this engine's got no chains fitted at the minute, but what we're looking at is this thing here that adjusts them. So I said that you have the early style adjustment on a Series 1 car. So that is, you wind this bit in, this, this locks it basically. You undo that to, 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 to disengage it, and then you can push that in to lock it. And if you look down inside there, down from above, you'll see the adjuster, which pushes out against the chain. And you'll see that this is different. The head, cylinder head casting is quite different because you have this piece here and this piece here. Now what we're looking at on the diagram is that piece there. So that's the early style and that's quite different to the Series 2 cars which have a very similar way of adjusting, well it's the same way of adjusting on a 2.4 and by chance we do have a 2.4 engine down here. Although it's a bit awkward to get to. But if we look down here, down in that corner there, you can you see the adjuster there? It's a very different looking thing. Now we're looking at it side on. So it's a different looking thing. And that works on a effectively a sprung loaded system that pushes the adjuster forwards when you disengage that big cap. That big cap works on a cam, on a sort of a um, collet style, like you'd have on a collet style lathe and that grips it, and then you have to have the fail safe on it. Get into that another day, more about those. But that's the difference. So that has a different cylinder head. So it doesn't have this, it doesn't have this architecture here, because it's all cast in, this is all part of it. On that one, it's like an insert that goes in and you have none of this stuff on there. So that's that little difference on the cylinder head and adjustments of timing chain. When I talk about three stud carbs, these are three stud carbs, and that's because it has three studs holding it on, you see? So there's a carburetor missing from there, and it's only got three there, you see, to hold it on. And that's the early style carbs. So that's another difference. So you have this manifold, whereas you have the four stud carbs on the later two litres, and then on the 2.4 engine. So that's another difference that we can look at whilst we're here, which we couldn't look at on the other car because we had the air box on top of it, didn't we? But I was going on about that air box, and by chance, we do have one down here. So, this shouldn't be chrome plated. That's a later air box off of a 2.4 engine. And you see it doesn't have anything here, it doesn't have any chokes there. Whereas I was talking about the chokes that the early ones have. So if I get, put that down, so that's the correct air filter box for these three stud carbs. Not the correct finish. Shouldn't be finished like that, should be in a, in a sort of hammered finish. But you can see it has these big extensions on the front here, aluminium, and then you have this thing here, which is effectively a choke lever. So when I pull that, see the flaps go over? Much like you have on the top of a carburetor. So these are the actual chokes, that's how they work. Now, a cable goes via the carburetors to get to here, and you have a quadrant there that, that transfers into here and it also has, has a, a mechanism to bump the idle up on the carbs as well as choking it. So, so when I say choking it, you're pulling that across there and you're choking the air. And that's, that's, that's an early two litre three stud carb thing. And that's the early one. So that's that, so that covers those. Now we were talking about dinoplexes, weren't we? And differences between them. Let me find a couple of different dinoplexes. We should have some in here. Right, here we go, here's some dinoplexes. Oh, move this out of the way. Right. Okay. This is the pile of Dinoplexes. Early style Dinoplexes have this 
type on it and that's you turn it from emergency and onto um, which is when you disconnect the Dinoplex and run normal conventional points ignition. Late ones have this big baker like takeoff that goes on the later cars and on 2.4s so that's that and then the very late 2.4s have another Dinoplex fitted to them a very later one which it crosses over with um, Yeah, I'll find it in a minute. It crosses over with the, the Fiat 130 range, which is a different thing again. Let me see if I can find one of those, just to illustrate that for you. Just, uh, I mean, we'll have to edit this bit out. I've got, oh, there we go, right, here we go. Right, here's one, here's one. Let's take it out of the box so we can see what it looks like. Right, okay, late Dinoplex looks like that. I think this might be a reproduction one. Not sure what that is, but anyway, that's the late style Dinoplex. So it's a lot smaller unit, as so often fitted to Fiat 130s. And the very, very last of the, of the um, 2.4 or 2400 Dinos would have these. Uh, I don't know what chassis number or spares number, I don't know about that. Um, seem to see it more on coupes than I did on spiders, uh, but I don't know why, I don't know enough about, about that. I, I you know, can't really comment on that. But quite a different looking unit. Not as glamorous, is it, really? If you can actually call that sort of unit glamorous. Let's get these out so we can see a bit better how big they are. So you can see they're quite a large unit. Quite a big old thing, isn't it? So quite different. So that's it. That's the differences. That's on Fiat Dino's Dinoplexes. Now don't forget other cars are Dinoplexes. Um, a lot of racing Ferraris and so on. Um, but that's a different thing. I don't know enough about that, so I'm not going to talk about that. Okay. Does that clear that up? <laughs> a little bit, pieces. A little bit. Right. Four stud carbs. See, four studs to bolt them on. So a different carburetor. So there you go. And that's one of these replacement ones which really aren't very good. Which is why it's under the bench here and not fitted to a car. There's there, the pucker things. <laughs> They're off something else entirely. Right. I think that covers that for now. And we're going to look at one other thing today, which I think is relevant to what we're talking about. Um, but before you go, look at this lovely thing. <laughs> That's for a different project. Right, let's go and have a look at something else. Okay, we're sitting in an early two litre Spider, and we're looking at that. Now, do you remember I said this this funny plate with the holes in? That's a series one thing. So you can have one stripped down to virtually nothing. And if you've got that in there, you know it's series one. Series twos have something to make that shape up. And it's actually polystyrene, you know, like the thing you'd, you'd find in packing, you know, packing when you buy electrical equipment or whatever. Uh, but it, it basically ends up, it fits in there and does that so that, you know, so that when you put the carpet over it, it does that. But that's it, that's, that's only Series 1s have that. And then I talk about the pedal box having less holes in it. Well, you won't really be able to see here, but you would be able to count the number of holes in the pedal box, and that would be another identifier. But whilst we're here, we can see some red paint on this car, but we can see lots of white paint. So you can see, it's, the, the, wherever we look, it's white, isn't it? The doors are white, but you can see the red. So it's been, it's been repainted red, like they say, retail red. It's mainly white, isn't it? And there's another little identifier. See in the corner here, we've got, we got a little bracket there sticking up where you'd have a curtsy light switch. Well, again, that's, a, that's an early two litre thing. You don't get that on, you know, it's a series one thing. They don't have them later on. Whilst we're here, if we can focus on it. Right, early bonnet pull, early bonnet prop I was saying about, wasn't I? And then of course, over to one side, you've got the little bit that retains it, the little cup that it would go into. And then we went over the other side of the bonnet 
And there's that bolt that would retain the strap, wouldn't it? So that, that over center strap that would have been there. So this is all Series 1 features. Now I don't know about under bonnet blankets. I think that was a sort of more of a 2.4 thing. Um, normally I have a strap that retains them that goes from the center of there all the way up to here. And on a 2.4, you'll see the little screw holes where it'd be there. Well, there's no screw holes on this, so I'm assuming this had no strap. It's an aluminum strap, effectively. If it didn't have the strap, I don't think it had the cover. But obviously that one we were looking at last week had a cover, and it didn't have a strap on that either, but I don't think that cover was original. But, you know, that's just, uh, that's just my theory. And if we sort of pan round in here, we can see sort of various bits of white, can't we, in here? So, again, I'm, I'm sure that's the way it is. I'm sure that's a, a Series 1 thing. Another one in the queue for restoration. <laughs> Tune in next week <laughs> to see if there's been any progress. I don't expect there will have been. Right, so this is a Series 2 car, and we can see in that footwell, it hasn't got that panel, has it, that we were talking about. So clearly that is just a Series 1 thing. So that's an easy way of identifying one. So in here, we can see that, that support. Now, I was saying it's got that cup for it to sit into. Well, of course it has got that cup. You know, they all have that on a spider. But that, that support arm, what I was meaning to say, was it was a lot, it's a lot thinner on a Series 1. On a Series 2, they beefed it up. But also where that courtesy light bracket is, is, is in a different position, isn't it? Because it's, it's down there in the corner, front corner by the hinge, whereas on the other one it was over here on the top, wasn't it, up there? Interestingly, this, this thing is on this side, this over square thing, but I'm, I'm convinced it's on the other side on 2.4s. But maybe on some of the two litres, you know, it differs, I don't know. We'd, as I say, there's always more to learn about them. But what definitely is different is that boot area, isn't it? That's a, that's a definite thing. So we'll have a look at that. So, what we were looking at last week regarding holding the boot up was whether it has this ram or not on it, wasn't it? And we'll go and look at the car in a minute, but this is where the ram are bolt on. So this has this, has this telescopic ram, and that's the courtesy-like thing. So that's the telltale on these, and then on the boot itself, if we look down there where my foot is, you can see where the ram are connect. Now, if we go next door and look at that red one, which is definitely Series 1, we can have a quick look at that difference, can't we? And that, that'll clarify that. So I think, I think the front bit under the bonnet isn't as relevant, is it? It's really this, isn't it? So when I was talking about the cup, it has this cup for that to go in, which is like the bonnet. And then the courtesy light thing is over here, isn't it? So yeah, that is different, isn't it? So that's categorically different. So that's what we're on about there. So it doesn't have that hydraulic uh, um, telescopic ram. It has a different, different way of holding the, holding the boot up. And then when I was on about on the bonnet, let's just have a very quick look at that, because we've just been looking at the other one, haven't we? So there we go, so that's definitely a flimsier thing, although it does have that bit on it there. Um, it's got that stud over that side, which we were just saying about, but definitely on the 2.4 it's on this side. But maybe on all two litres it's that side, I don't know, we'll have to, that, that's something, you know, well maybe you guys can help us with that, can't you, if you know more about it, on your cars, where it's located. But there's that courtesy light switch again on this side over there, isn't it? Just like we were looking at on that body shot a minute ago. I mean, another thing they change quite a bit on these is where the fuel filter goes. The fuel filter and regulator will move here on this one and on some of them it's over this side. So that moves around, but I don't know why or when. I just say, does that answer your questions? <laughs> I think it raises more questions, doesn't it? But yeah, that's the thing. Perhaps we should all... Um, pool our resources and talk about the differences in these cars. That would be useful. But somehow we need to actually work out, you know, what's different and when and why. But the spares book is, 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 is the way we're trying to work it out and the spares number. And of course, when different things come in. So things like this change of the steering wheel from wood to, to sorry, from leather to the wood style. 
uh, the, those air vents and then the interior how that changes because of course the air vents don't have the, uh, don't have the flaps on the front of them like I discussed last week and that corresponds with not having any way of controlling them which these series one cars don't have so there's various differences like that which we can use the spares books to see when they happen but differences in how the body's constructed you know that's going to be not going to be so easy to find that way is it and certainly when they stopped painting the engine bays in body colour and started using the satin black in the engine bay, well, that's not going to be in the spares book, is it? So we won't know those things. But my theory is that is, is how the body changes. So when they changed over to the pedal box, they altered the pedal box, they altered the bulkhead. And simultaneously, I think they changed that, that plate with the holes in it. And that's a series one to series two thing. And they changed the pedal box on the, on the coupe as well. Now the way these cars were constructed is that there was a platform made and Fiat were making that platform themselves. And then they supplied it to the coach builders. Now the coupe is slightly longer. So it has a slightly different platform effectively. But that bulkhead area is, is the same on both of them. So that, that would be consistent between series one and series two, that changeover. Now, say on a coupe, it's not as obvious because you don't have these things like the aluminium dash to say, oh, that's a series one. So there's a lot less obvious changes between a series one and series two coupe. In fact, almost, you know, short of the steering wheel, it's about the only giveaway. Um, but obviously people change steering wheels as well. So, you know, you could have any steering wheel on it. Much like this one doesn't have an original steering wheel at all. It doesn't have a Dino steering wheel. My theory is that we, we, we go by the changes to the body shell between series one and series two. And then all the little subtleties of when this changed and that little bit changed and they move this courtesy light and you know and that changed and things like that because that will you'll see that in the spares because it's a different type of switch so these things will will come up but i i think that some of the changes probably came in gradually you know, not all at once so that's why i think we should look at it like that and that would give us an idea of what we should call Series 1 and what we should call Series 2. That's my thing. Now, whether there's a proper Fiat bulletin that says, you know, now it's Series 2, I don't know. I don't know enough about that. That I concentrate on the physical working on them and making bits and so on. Other people can concentrate on the, you know, on the literature and, and working their way through it, which is what we're doing. You know, it's what we're all pooling our resources to do. So, there you go some answers to some questions and some new questions. Good night.